Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's lecture, we are going to talk about Haemophilus influenza. Haemophilus influenza characteristics, uh, every single little details about the Haemophilus influenza. Here it is for you. The first important property we are going to talk about is the gram nature and we know Haemophilus influenza is a gram negative bacteria. The next important feature we want to talk about is the disease that it causes. The disease it causes is the various infections including uh, the respiratory tract infection, the otitis media and pneumonia and meningitis all related to somewhat the cold and cough related to lung as well as in meningitis connecting our brain as well. Next virulence factors, what are the virulence factors that are present in here and capsules, they have capsule structures uh, that resist the phagocytosis which is a major virulence factor for uh, hemophilus influenza. Then we have a lipooligosaccharide or LOS layer which is similar to that of LPS but little different endotoxin with pro-inflammatory properties in it. Okay, we have adhesins. So what is adhesin? It promotes the attachment of this hemophilus influenza bacteria to the host cell. So host cell entry is easy with adhesins. And we have IgA proteases. So particular protease that leaves immunoglobulin A antibody the aiding in the colonization of hemophilus influenza in host body. Now if we talk about the incubation period, uh, then the incubation period of uh, this bacteria varies a few days okay and now uh, if you want to talk about the antibiotic susceptibility what are the antibiotic it is susceptible to uh, generally the list of antibiotics susceptible to are ampicillin uh, and ampicillin ceftriaxone azithromycin are the three antibiotic it is susceptible to and if you talk about the antibiotic resistance do we have anything related to hemophilus influenza some strains have developed resistance to antibiotics such as beta lactams so should not use it culture media uh, what is the culture media or culture method that we use grown on standard culture media no special uh, things are required like chocolate agar is a media which can where we can grow them blood agar is a medium where we can grow hemophilus influenza quite easily the next one is forms a small uh, dew drop like colonies it looks like a dew drop structure that is a characteristic colony of hemophilus influenza what are the detection methods of hemophilus influenza uh, so four methods we are going to talk about the first method is the culture the process of culture isolates the hemophilus influenza from clinical samples in the culture media the second one that we are going to talk about here is gram staining method so we identify the hemophilus influenza based on the gram negative coccobacilli so it, it's not exactly the coccus so the structure is like, like a coccus and bacillus mixed together like a coccobacilli structure and gram negative stained the third important detection method is molecular test like pcr polymerase chain reaction detection of nucleic acid by amplification and the last uh, property a uh, last method of detection here is serological tests and that detects antibodies against hemophilus influenza and that's why you can detect like ELISA all these tests are there to detect them so these are all the important properties and parameters regarding hemophilus influenza i believe you have clear idea if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future